that uh, what we are talking about is all speculations. Uh, but yes, I mean, every political party goes through this dynamism. Uh, power dynamism, political dynamism, and uh, man, you, you need to realize that uh, people face uh, has not had its congress yet. So it, it, it doesn't have a substantive leadership, uh, w w which can be a challenge, especially in the formation. If you delay it, then you start getting these cranks. They would have done themselves a favor if immediately after the formation, they would have actually planned a process of, uh, of leadership renewal or confirming the leadership. Uh, this joking of positions and also policy and leadership style discord could have been averted. But I'm looking at this to say people like Did Masintas and Rugare Gumbo. He, those are elements that are not very popular with the, the populace and with the voters because of their previous pasts within ZANU-PF is a willing hands of destruction. What is the pattern, Makadaro? Um, come out, please. Hello, sir. I can hear a lot of noise from there, my brother. What's going on? Huh? Is there any noise coming from where you are or around where you are? Can you still hear it? No, it's gone now. Okay. All right. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, now it's uh, moving a, a chair. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Right, I want you to please uh, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. No, that, no that, that's fine. So, so I mean, it, it's all about power, I think, as, as we see it. Uh, that uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely. So, people like Rugare Gumbo and Didma Sumitasa, um, I, I can see that, of course, there have been speculations in terms of uh, that they are not happy with the, the position of uh, uh, people first joining a coalition uh, of opposition parties to fight the ZANU PF. Uh, and, and, and as such, they feel that their positions must be untenable. Uh, in terms of uh, how are the positions going to be shared, etc., etc., etc. But again, as I said, it's, those are speculations, but uh, I strongly believe that there's a truth in that. And uh, of course, I think this is the time for people first to, to, to weed an unnecessary, uh, you know, excess baggage before the 2018. Sometimes these revolutions and counter-revolutions and struggles within struggles are important before you actually stabilize as a political party. And I think it's, it's very healthy in any situation. And, uh, but again, it's up to people first to, 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 to solve their own problems. Uh, I'm commenting from a an observer perspective from another opposition perspective. And I think it is very important that uh, people face themselves to sort out this mess. It doesn't argue well for a party that is just starting, of course, especially given that they were fired from ZANU-PF, the ruling ZANU-PF. And before even a Congress to ascertain their leadership, they are already firing themselves, okay? And, 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 and it shows that there is also an ideological bankruptcy. And that, you know, the, the rallying point of the formation of people face uh, shows that it probably was not to save the people of Zimbabwe, but to, 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 
to, to find a safe haven for those who have been fired. And those cracks are now manifesting themselves. They are starting to come out now. Indeed, yeah. And then they were, it was a matter of time that such things will come up. And to me, it's a good thing that it's coming up in time for people of Zimbabwe out there to see who is genuine and who is not. So that the people of Zimbabwe are not taken for granted. And that is my own perspective, and I think uh, many people, many people will share my perspective. Uh -huh. uh, let me just read this uh, in brief. Um, it's saying here, DJ Sosa, the problem with ZPF is that it was formed out of anger by people who had been booted out of ZPF. It was not formed out of political conviction. It is a form of a protest by those who were denied access to the gravy train. Most of these people's participation in politics was based on patronage. For example, Rugare Gumbo is a devout regionalist. Mutasa was just handpicked by Teker to rise in the ranks of Zan PF. Equally, Maimujuru was nurtured by Rex Nongo. On their own, these people have no political character. This is childish uh, project. And the child, childish project was bound to explode. Very strong words uh, coming from that uh, listener there. But, um, right, we can't die so what is uh, going on. Bukoma Tichi, have you sorted your mic there? Okay, we are not hearing anything. There, get to be back after this. <laughs> 